Israel is accusing the United Nations of failing to respond to reports of widespread sexual violence used by Hamas during the October 7th attack, especially at that Nova rave party. Officials say they've collected evidence from witnesses and first responders that detail alleged accounts of rapes, mutilations, and torture. Several prominent leaders and activists spoke on a panel at the United Nations, including former Meta Platform COO Sheryl Sandberg. Here's some of what she had to say. The world has to decide who to believe. Do we believe the Hamas spokesperson who said that rape is forbidden, therefore it couldn't have possibly happened on October 7th? Or do we believe the women whose bodies tell us how they spent the last minutes of their lives? We call upon the entire UN to formally condemn Hamas for these rapes, make sure there is a full and fair investigation and hold the terrorists accountable. NBC's Anna Schechter joins us now for more. She's a senior producer in our investigative unit. Anna, good morning. So much of this just so disturbing. Tell us some of the evidence that was presented and how systemic they say this alleged abuse was, especially in some of those neighborhoods and at the music festival, as we mentioned. Thanks so much, Savannah. There are different categories of evidence. So you have eyewitness accounts from that festival where people played dead and witnessed rape, in one case a gang rape where a woman was passed from one Hamas militant to another and then shot in the head. Then there are the bodies of the women. The issue with this investigation, it's so difficult to uh, undertake this investigation. It's not like a regular CSI crime scene where you can easily do a, you know, a rape kit. The, the massive amount of bodies that had to be collected that were in such um, traumatized shape, mutilated, um, it's really hard to even put a number on it. But I've spoken directly with multiple first responders who witnessed women who had been shot in the genital area, shot in the breast, had their breasts cut off, um, even much worse. I, I don't even want to say out loud um, what they witnessed. And um, they are still collecting evidence. So this investigation is probably going to go on for many months to come. But the women's bodies, one person who was preparing the women's bodies for burial, she was um, on a team of people trying to identify the bodies because so many of their faces had been shot off and they were not identifiable and they had to do these DNA tests. She said, you know, the, bo the women's bodies told a story and she gets strength, even though what she experienced was so traumatic, going through countless bodies who were mutilated. Um, and she says that telling the story and speaking out, and she also spoke at the UN yesterday. We're, these are such incredible, difficult details to hear. We're hearing from women at the UN, Sheryl Sandberg included. What is the main messaging coming from these women rights groups and global leaders? And do they feel this is being ignored? Well, the Israeli uh, feminist groups and academics who have um, started a coalition to document, um, just for historical record, every instance of reported sexual violence against women, they found these international organizations in the past to be their colleagues to help them. You know, they, they're sort of building this system in Israel where rape is prosecuted and women are believed. And when there were several weeks of silence from the international aid community, they really they told me that they felt very alone. So last week, UN Women did put out a statement condemning the Hamas attack. But for some of the women who are part of this coalition and who are now coming to the UN to tell the story, it felt to them what they told me is too little too late. Mm. So quickly tell us what happens next year. Does the UN have power to investigate or do anything about these allegations? So they are calling for a full investigation and Israel is doing its own investigation. I think that's the priority for the people that who are directly involved with the Israeli investigation that I've been talking mm. to. Um, and I think there is hesitation on that front to um, trust the UN to do their own investigation, although you heard Sheryl Sandberg calling for a full UN uh, investigation and the international community to do an investigation. Anna Schechter, thank you so much. Really difficult to hear those details, but important that we keep a shining a light on this. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.